Okay, today's quick tip, we're going to be talking about squat depth. Okay, so Ryan's going to show us the difference between different squat depths, and then we'll have a quick talk about it afterwards. Do so you want to show a full Ready? depth squat? Yeah? Okay, so you notice he's going below 90 degrees now, as far down as he can do comfortably, and then back up again. Now do you want to show a 90 degree squat? Okay, so as you see stopping at about 90 degrees, parallel, and then back up again. Okay, that's cool. the question we've both been asked the question That's right, yeah. how far how low do you go when you squat so I mean how about yourself well I like to vary my training I will change it over every two or every four weeks uh, so for an example I'll do four weeks of um, going low okay which engages your more of your hams and your uh, glutes which is your bum muscles and um, I then I'll change it you know do you go full? Do you go um, heavy when you go low? Yeah, no, I don't go as heavy. Um, I go again for the 12 to 50 rep, uh, rep range. Um, but then when I do change it to the 90 degree, as I showed you uh, on the latter uh, exercise, um, again, I will pump the weight up. I, you know, I'll put it on. I, that weight will go on. I mean, myself, a lot of people seem to get pressured into doing full squats. People seem to think you're a wimp if you don't go all the way down. You know. I, I utilise both as well. You're not a wimp if you don't go all the way down. For me personally, um, I do both squats, but uh, for different reasons. As Ryan says, if you go all the way down, you start bringing the hamstrings in. For girls, this is particularly good because they're very often quad dominant, and so you want to bring in some more hamstrings and glutes. A full squat is good for that. Girls do look great with um, good glutes, right? I should edit that bit. Nah. Don't edit that bit. We've caught him. We've got him. We've got him. So, well, we've got him. Um, no, but also the other thing for me personally, going all the way down with squats, it does affect my knees negatively. So I don't care what anyone says. You know, I won't be pressured into doing that. So like Ryan, I'll go slightly lighter on the weight. I might do um, volume training. When I'm doing volume training, then I'll go full depth. So maybe up to two plates, for example, on the side, 100 kilos maximum. But then when I'm going to um, a 90 degree squat, then I put the weight up again. Also, when you go to 90 degrees, you keep the contraction on the quad, on the actual quad. When you go lower, yeah, it comes off. I when you go below 90, it Definitely goes, yeah. Yeah, the contraction yeah. goes. So for focusing on your quads, yeah. I would say 90 degree squat is yeah. potentially better. Yeah. I would say quickly, before before we finish this really, really quick tip. It's really, really quick Yeah, really, tip. really quick tip. Okay. You have to know the importance of what you want to do. Okay, so know what you want to do and do it. Simple as that. Try both of them, that's the point. Try them both yeah. and see what works for you. Okay, so. well, that's a really, really quick tip. See you next time. Cheers.